Hey, how's it going? This is P. Kachev. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up a, a smart chain wallet. Uh, and this is mostly for USA uh, residents because, you know, uh, this is something that will allow you to connect with decentralized platforms um, like PancakeSwap. And it will allow you to buy uh, very, very rare coins. Uh, by rare, I mean in the early stages that you cannot get anywhere on the market yet. Uh, coins like IDOs, okay? So um, before we get into that, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button and that bell notification if you're new to the channel so you never miss another video. Every day we come on here and we share with people how they can store up on real wealth assets, especially right now. It's an amazing time to be in the biggest wealth transference and um, one of those things is cryptocurrency and getting something in the early stages before it officially launches and potentially goes 10 and 100x in value is uh, one of the coolest things uh, you can participate in in the cryptocurrency world. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it and I'll explain all the details. How do you actually set up a Binance Smart Chain wallet that will allow you and USA to um, get on some of the coins, you know, with all the regulations that you may not you know, potentially be able to do without these steps. Okay, so let's get right into it. Well, first of all, why would you need something like a smart chain wallet? Um, usually for us here in the US, you know, this gives us an opportunity to participate in IDOs and what IDOs are initial DEX offering to the launching of cryptocurrencies on a decentralized exchange. And a couple of examples of decentralized exchanges are Uniswap, or pancake swap, right? So like with pancake swap, you can actually connect your Binance smart chain network, okay? Um, and this is where you can swap like your Bitcoin or say Ethereum to any new coin out there that's on the decentralized platforms that are not yet on centralized platforms like Binance or Coinbase, make sense? Um, also another one is MetaMask that I do use uh, you know, like to connect with Uniswap and I have another video below in my description about that but today i just want to show you how to connect your binance chain network and uh, pretty much convert your bnb that will allow you to get some of the rare coins and not just on the decentralized platforms like PancakeSwap, but also in new projects where you are in the ideal phase where you are in a coin that is not yet launched publicly. And one of those projects, I, in fact, I do have a video on this as well. This is EtherConnect project that we are on in the very early stages. And we are talking about a brand new cryptocurrency token that can become a cryptocurrency. In fact, it started at 10 cents and now it's already $1.50 per token. The iFi token is still in the early stages and you can get it before it potentially launches and goes from 10 to $50 per coin. I have a tutorial video on this project below as well if you'd like to participate in this. And uh, one of the things I'm going to show you as an example is you can also participate in staking. You can get 10% to 17% per month uh, return on your stake. And we're staking in a EtherConnect token called ECC, which is currently $0.29 cents per token. Uh, just a few months back, it was $0.10 cents also and is you know, going up even though the crypto market is bare. So I'm going to use this project as the example because I want to buy some ECC tokens and I can only do it when I go to the deposit here. I can't buy it with, you know, Ether or Bitcoin. I can only buy it with the BNB, with a Binance Smart Chain wallet. Okay, so when I click there, it'll ask me, hey, what do you want to connect with? Well, I have to connect my Binance Chain wallet. And so to do that, first of all, you just need to go to uh, maybe the Chrome store or in Google in Google just put in Binance chain wallet Okay, it'll take you to the Chrome web store where you can download the Binance chain wallet Okay, and you just click download and it'll add it So when you do download it, it'll usually show up in here You'll click this little puzzle piece You'll find the Binance chain wallet after you've installed it You know you've saved your secret phrase words just like you download any wallet, right? You create a password, you save your secret words so you can always recover it. And then you click pin. See how I unpinned it? It disappeared. I want to pin it. So you would pin it and this way it's on your, on your bar over here, okay? So at any time now, I can open it. Here's the theme 
about this wallet. It has a Binance chain network, right? But here, like the only way I can buy these coins, the ECC coins and stake them, I need to use only the Binance smart chain network. So there's a Binance chain network, but when you drop this down, there's also a Binance smart chain network option. And that's the one we need to use and fund. Okay. However, however, if I go to say Binance and I'm in the US, so if you're not in US, you would use Binance.com. And in Binance.com, you know, you don't have to really go through all these steps. When you're in US, you have to use Binance.us. It doesn't matter where you buy BNB, which is the Binance coin, whether it's in Binance and Coinbase. However, I'm using Binance as the example. So I'm, I'm here on my withdraw and I'm going to drop this down and find the BNB, which I already purchased. By the way, I do have a tutorial on how to use Binance.us, set it up and buy coins. Okay. So I'm not going to go through that here. I'm just going to assume you have some BNB crypto already. As you can see, I have some BNB. So I selected that. Now, if you're using Binance.com, it'll automatically, you know, have you on the BEP20 network. Okay. And then from there, you can send that directly to the Binance Smart Chain Network to this address. Okay. However, if you're using Binance.us, it will only give you the BEP2 network. So we have to uh, only use this network and we have to take an extra step to change our BNB to the BEP20 network. And that's where Smart Chain Wallet comes in. So here's what we will do. I'm just going to open my wallet. So if we want to send directly to, you know, send our BNB from Binance.us to Binance Smart Chain Network. And I copy just by clicking there, I copy this receiving address and I drop it there paste it'll tell me address format is wrong so I need to do it differently okay so I'm opening my wallet again I'm opening my network and selecting the Binance chain network not the smart chain just the Binance chain network so this is where your BEP2 BNB will go be deposited into okay so I'm gonna copy that address all right and then drop it here and now it's accepting it you can put in a memo if you'd like. I'm just going to say, Max, let's just go ahead and withdraw my BNB. I have a little here and send it to that address in my Binance Chain Network wallet. Okay, so I'm going to click Submit. Okay, it's going to ask me for some verification details. Yeah, text me. Okay, just drop my code. Cool, confirm withdraw request. So yeah, I'm going to go to my email, click in the email, confirm. So I'm approving the transaction. Okay, there you go. I went to my email. I clicked inside there and approved it and that's that so when I go to wallet balances there's my BNB that I just transferred as you can see it's no longer in my available balance it's in order so it's in transition it's processing give it some time and it should show up here oh there it is okay so it just showed up here so I just sent from Binance you know but you can send this from anywhere from Coinbase, another exchange, wherever you bought BNB to my Binance chain network. So now, now the way I would convert my Binance, my BNB BEP2 to BEP20 is very simple. I'm in my Binance chain network. Okay. I am going to drop this down and select now the Binance smart chain network. And as you can see, I have almost no BNB here. Now I will click receive or just copy this by clicking there, copy the Binance Smart Chain Network address. Okay, drop this down again and now return to the Binance Chain Network where I have my BNB. Okay, and now I'm sending it. I'll drop that address. Yep, so like that. Memo, not necessary. Maximum, let's say the full total, send. So it's from Binance Chain Network to Binance Smart Chain Network. Okay. The reason we're doing this is we're converting our BNB from BEP2 to BEP20, okay? From Binance US, because of all the regulations and everything, we need to do this hack, okay? And then send. Transaction successful, awesome. So as you can see, the balance left my Binance Chain Network, and let's drop that down again, and now go to the Binance Smart Chain Network, and there it is, it just showed up there. So there's a dollar value, 
of my BNB, that's the BNB value, so it's like 0.45, almost a half of one BNB. So now I can go to my new project here. I want to uh, buy some more ECC tokens, the Ether Connect tokens, and stake some more, okay? So I have about $99 here, so what I want to do is go over here, undeposit, draw that down, select the BNB, Binance Smart Chain option, okay? And now, and now I'm going to connect it to my BNB wallet. So click there, it says connected. Sometimes the wallet will pop up and ask you to confirm, so you'll do that. Done deal, so now look, I can buy ECC. So it's gonna ask me how much of ECC. Well, let's see, I have $130 here. So let's do maybe 125 because I'll, I'll leave some there for fees. I'll just say 125, then I'll click preview. It says I'm going to buy 428 ECC tokens, okay? And that's how much BNB balance will go towards that. Cool. Pay. Click there. And now my Binance Smart Chain wallet pops up, and I'm going to confirm that transaction. Your transaction is pending. Transaction is successful, connected. Cool. So that was fast. So now I can go to my dashboard again, all right? And when I scroll down, so this is the ECC I had there before, but what I just purchased hasn't come through yet. So I'll just like pause this video for a few minutes and refresh my screen and once it's showed up here, I'll resume. Okay, cool, that took about 15 minutes or so and that did come through as you can see. My stake amount uh, went up by about 100 some dollars that we just transferred, which brought up my ECC token balance. And now I'm able to earn 10% monthly yield on my current amount in ECC. And it's actually paid out uh, daily and 0.33% and I can withdraw my yield actually at any time in the form of Ethereum. So this is one of the reasons why I would need a Binance Smart Chain Network <laughs> wallet, right? Now it's allowing me to participate in exclusive projects and pick up some coins that I can only get on decentralized platforms which you're not really able to do in US unless you go through this process and set up yourself the Binance Smart Chain Network wallet. Hey, listen, if you found value, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well if this was helpful and makes sense. Let me know if I left anything out. However, um, you know, I do have also a video below in the description that talks about this project that I shared with you, the Ether Connect project where I'm, where I'm buying some ECC coins and uh, IFI coins that do have a potential to skyrocket and go all the way up to $50, you know, if it hits a crypto exchange in the roadmap, they're actually looking to do that quite soon. Um, so with that said, that's as far as that project goes. However, when you're using your smart chain Binance uh, wallet, this is now a decentralized, decentralized public wallet uh, because there's a lot of centralized cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Binance, right? But uh, having a decentralized, you know, swapping platform like Uniswap or PancakeSwap is where you can actually um, hold coins in decentralized platform. And uh, having a private wallet like uh, MetaMask or a, you know, a smart chain wallet that uh, I shared with you how to get going today, uh, where you're transacting with BNB, will allow you to pick up some of those very, very early stages uh, cryptocurrency coins that have high potential. So I hope that was helpful um, and I uh, also have other resources for you below how to be uh, part of this current project I'm in that's uh, yielding us pretty good returns and also I have other resources like how to get crypto from other cryptocurrency exchanges. But I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, main reason I did this is because of a current project we're currently a part of. I also have a video where I show you how to set up a MetaMask wallet and um, connect it to your Uniswap, where we're also getting and storing some new coins that you can't get on centralized exchanges just yet. So between MetaMask and Binance Chain Wallet, uh, these are the two that integrate well with these decentralized uh, swapping platforms like PancakeSwap, um, Uniswap, and this will allow you to get some of those uh, coins that are not on centralized exchanges just yet, and um, they do have a high potential, but also it integrates with new projects where coins are in their IDO stage, right? This is even before they, you know, launch to the 
to the uh, decentralized platforms and you can get them at the lowest uh, because you're participating from their stage when they're born uh, much like this you know ether connect project that i just shared with you so i hope that helps so between like i said between metamask and between you know binance smart chain wallet uh, these two are ones i use often and uh, you can participate in a lot of the ideos some of the newest cryptocurrency coins that are just launching on the decentralized swapping platforms and get them on the early stages so um, we do use these two wallets a lot so with that said um, that's what it's all about my friend is you know diversifying and uh, investing into you know something in the early stages that has the highest growing potential um, but with that said uh, don't forget to subscribe stay tuned for other videos and check out all the resources i have for you below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video mm -hmm.